The world's first 3D printing technology for medical equipment developed in southwest China's Chengdu is already in use in 16 provinces and regions across China. Reporter Zheng Yuqing has the story. I'm now at the 3D high-speed printing system production base in Chengdu, where you can see a row of these printing systems right behind me. I'm going to find out how these advanced technology help those patients to recover diseases such as bone fractures by printing out external fixation supports. These state-of-the-art 3D medical printing systems are developed by West China Pitech. They produce external fixation supports similar to plaster casts, which are then used in emergencies and to help people recover from injuries. The systems are now in use in 16 provinces and regions across China. But how do they work? So the first step that I'm going to do is the 3D scanning. After collecting the data, the engineer here is to process the model to make it even better. And now finally, we come to the last step, which they're going to issue this instruction to the machine there to print out this 3D model. I can't wait to see how my wrist model will look like. Our equipment is the world's first 3D HSP printer. Traditional machines really take five to six hours to print, but that's been shortened to about 20 minutes. This is key to the new quality productive forces that we advocate for now, as it gives patients a better experience and provides more timely treatment. Wow, I finally got my personalized custom wrist model here, which they're trying to adjust the band for me. Besides the 3D plaster cars, this rehabilitation robot featuring Mahjong and other interactive games aids in upper limb recovery. You can start trying to push it forward. We now control this hand, shuffle the cards here to fully mobilize people's subjective initiative. By changing the difficulty, the level of resistance adjusts based on the personalized needs of the patient. The scenarios we are currently targeting are communities and homes. With our equipment offered to communities, the elderly can simply go downstairs and spend a few minutes completing these. It's an important example of the new quality productive forces as it allows more people to enjoy a better experience at a lower cost. With new quality productive forces getting a boost this year during China's third plenary recession, Chengdu has also set up its pace of applying AI in the medical sector. Not just building products using this latest technology, they're also trying to get more Generation Z into the research teams. What's more, it has also shifted the focus from the business side to the customer side, ensuring that more people are able to access these advanced products at a cheaper price in their daily lives. Zheng Yuqiong, CGTN, Chengdu.